and I welcome you to our table, Thad. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure to be here, and I really appreciate it. Thank now, you, sir. Now, we're here in South Florida, so you're a resident of Broward County, but you're running on a statewide overview. Right. As uh, Agriculture Commissioner. Yes. Uh, let me just uh, say that you've had 40 years' experience in the agriculture and, in, uh, and the environment. Uh, you uh, also worked for the United States Department of Agriculture for 36 years. That's yes. a long road. And you were honored by uh, President George H. Uh, uh, Bush Sr. for yes. your environmental and agricultural service. Uh, I also see here that you uh, are a former uh, retired lieutenant colonel U.S. Army. Yes. Congratulations Thank on you. your service. Thank you were you. airborne, cavalry, field artillery. So you've done it all. You've had a lot of experience in life. There's no doubt about it, Mr. Hamilton. Uh, tell me why you want to run for agriculture commissioner. Well, the Commission of Agriculture and Consumer Services is what we need. We need someone there that has at least 40 years of experience in agriculture, that has worked in agriculture at the state, local, and national level, that has worked in agriculture and with the Commission of Agriculture in the state of Florida for the last 30 years. When we take a look at the Commission of Agriculture and Consumer Services, we need someone there that's going to represent the people, the 18.5 million people that we have in the state of Florida. We must reach out and educate each and every one of them because we also, the other half of it is consumer service. Consumer service need to be up at the top because we have to bring the people, the agriculture, and the environment together, and we have to protect the citizens of the state. Number one is from that oil spill. I was going to ask you about that. How evident is the oil spill? Are we safe from it, or are we going to be challenged by some of that oil coming up onto our shores? We need to prepare now for that oil spill because whether it is next month, next year, five years from now, eventually the oil is going to come around, around the Keys, up and go north, all up the uh, east coast. And I have a personal uh, uh, investment in because when you go up and down Broward County beaches, those beaches, the best management practices where we have those four, five, and six foot sand dunes that protects the beach from the oil spill, that's the first line of defense, erosion uh, redu reduction, and the actual building of the beaches due to the vegetation, that's my work. That's when I was working with the USDA with the Broward Soil and Water Conservation District with the coastal cities, with the counties, and with the school system. We educated tens of thousands of school kids and volunteers just going, just in that part of it, not getting into the actual education program, but just that to protect our beach line, our shoreline. You know, and I'll call you Colonel if I may. Colonel, the public doesn't understand the importance of the Florida Commission of Agriculture and Consumer Services, do they? They not mm, enough PR or press on that. Right, because approximately 98% of the uh, public have little to no idea that the Commission of Agriculture even exists, that the Commission of Agriculture is the number one cabinet member that is responsible for the safe and health of our food, the quality of our water, mm -hmm. the Everglades we know it here in South Florida, but our whole ecosystem comes under the Commission of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't realize that. Would you take a moment now and look into the camera, Thad, and tell the voters why they should vote for you, Thad Hamilton, for the next Florida Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services, and the election, of course, is November 2nd. Go right ahead, please. The Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services is a key cabinet position that affects each and every one of the 18.5 million citizens. I have 40 years of experience in agriculture. We need to, and by the way, 30 of those years I spent here in South Florida, in Broward County, at the local, state, and national level with the United States Department of Agriculture. We don't need to repeat our last 30 years. We need to build on it. We need to educate it. We need hands-on projects for the citizens to understand. We must bring the urban, which is the people, the agriculture, environment together, we must utilize our funds better than we have in the past and serve the people and protect the people from consumer fraud, fraudulent foreclosures, and I could go on and on, but it's up to you, and I'm asking you to allow me to represent you in, in 
the Florida State Cabinet as your Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services.